Isabel in the UK, you are up. Scott, thank you so much. And as ever, thank you so much for this. Colin, amazing. Wow, my God, I don't know what to say really, other than I've met Martin Hewitt, who has climbed with Louis. And I had the real privilege of doing a couple of jobs with him. And they're inspiring men. And you are, there's so much you've said that's gold. Thank you very, very, very much. My question is about your mum. My question is, where did that come from in your mum? Because I'm a mum and the story that stayed with me out of all of those stories the most was the fact that your mum did what she did and the way she did it. Do you know where that came from? You know, um, yeah, first and foremost, my mother's incredible and I'm, I'm, I'm very much blessed. I feel like, you know, I won the genetic lottery. We, you know, we all end up with parents that we don't choose. And um, I feel like I got quite fortunate um, in, in terms of that in my life. And it certainly has had um, a huge, huge, huge impact over time, without a doubt. Um, you know, people ask my mother this question. They say, you must be so afraid. You know, your son is out there doing these things that are so inherently risky, you know, where people die, right? Um, truly life or death stakes. Um, and I have recently <laughs> lost some friends in a really bad climbing accident um, in Pakistan. And her response is sort of this coy response as a mother. She smiles and she says, well, of course, I worry about him constantly. But she says, but careful what you wish for as a mother. When you whisper in your kid's ear from the day they were born, you can do anything you set your mind to. And obviously the story of the burn accident um, is a massive turning point in my life. And my mother certainly, like I said, you know, taught me one of life's greatest lessons from the midst of this deep, deep tragedy. But that is a pattern for my mom, right? Like she really cultivated that in an incredible way in that moment for me. But if I trace that back, she also did this in all the smaller incremental moments of my life all the way throughout my childhood. And I think, again, I call it a possible mindset, but you could call it really anything of just even when we didn't have so much in our life, you know, resources wise, et cetera, there was still this belief in abundance an abundance of possibilities an abundance of options an abundance of choice to make and create anything that you wanted to dream into reality. And my mother certainly has done that in her own life and has instilled me with that since the day I was born. If if you want to hear a great podcast, uh, Megan Riley uh, sent me a text this morning. She said she was sorry that she couldn't join us, Colin, but uh, she said that her podcast, uh, her Who's Your Mama podcast with your mom is one of her all-time favorites. So uh, if you guys want to hear Colin's mom, check that out. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, Thank tag. you so much, Colin. Tag, we're going.